In this tutorial, we'll create a selective blur and glitch distortion effect that transforms a clean video into a surreal, portal-like visual. The technique combines lens distortion, ramp masking, and controlled feedback to create spatial dislocation and data moshing style transitions. This effect thrives on imbalance. Precise control meets chaotic decay. The lens distortion defines the boundary. The feedback introduces memory, and displacement ties the visual energy together. Experiment with blur radius and feedback opacity to fine-tune the rhythm of distortion. Start with a movie file in top to bring your main video into Touch Designer. Add a level top after your movie file-in to fine-tune the brightness and contrast of the footage. Insert a lens distort top after the level node to introduce subtle curvature and tension to the frame. Set K1-0.115 to slightly pull the image inward, creating a convex spatial warp. Add an LFO chop and connect it to the K3 parameter of the lens distort top. This introduces a subtle rhythmic breathing effect, giving the distortion a living cinematic movement that feels fluid rather than static. Add another level top after the animated lens distortion to rebalance the tone. This step helps recover lost contrast from distortion and prepares the image for selective blur and mask isolation. Add an HSV adjust top after the second level node to refine the overall color tone. Add a threshold top after the HSV adjust to isolate the bright regions of the image. This mask will later define where the selective blur and glitch feedback will be applied, 
giving control over spatial focus within the frame. Add a rectangle top after the threshold node to define a focused region for the distortion. Add a ramp top and connect it after the rectangle to create a smooth gradient transition. This gradient softens the mask edges and controls the intensity of the upcoming blur and displacement, blending the glitch portal seamlessly into the original scene. Insert a second threshold top after the ramp to tighten the luminance range of the gradient. Add a feedback top after the second threshold to introduce temporal persistence. Set the target top to HSVAG1 to loop the processed frame back into the chain. This creates a subtle echo effect, allowing the distorted and masked regions to accumulate over time, the foundation of the glitch portal illusion. Add a blur top after the feedback node to soften and diffuse the accumulated distortion. Set the resolution top to 139 by 1080 to intentionally lower the horizontal detail. After generating the low res pixel distortion layer, add another resolution top and set it back to 1920 by 1080. This restores the correct output ratio and prepares the feedback blur texture for compositing with the main footage. By upscaling the distorted layer, the stretched pixel artifacts are preserved while matching the original frame's dimensions perfectly.
add a level top after the final resolution to refine the overall visual tone. Create an additional blur top from the main lens distortion chain to feed into the upcoming displace node. Connect the blurred texture to the second input of the displaced top and the main video to the first. Set horizontal source equals red, vertical source equals blue, and displace weight equals 0.0001 to achieve subtle yet fluid distortion. When you set the displace weight to 0.0001-0.1, the grid-like mosaic pattern appears because each pixel jumps beyond its neighboring sampling zone.
connect, displace one, and rectangle one into a composite top. Set the operation equals multiply to blend the distortion only inside the rectangular region, creating a clean, contained glitch portal. Connect Comp 1, Masked Displacement, and the original lens, Distort 1 output into an overtop. This blends the warped portal seamlessly on top of the base footage, completing the cinematic effect. The result is a fluid visual illusion where distortion appears to ripple only inside the selected zone, like a soft glitch doorway within reality. Connect the over one node into a null, then to an out, and finally a movie file out top. Set the video codec to photo motion JPEG, FPS to 60, and quality to 1 for clean cinematic export. This pipeline converts your entire procedural network into a single rendered movie file while preserving real-time motion depth and distortion. Today, we built a full distortion effect in Touch Designer. Starting from a simple video input and layering multiple stages like lens distortion, LFO-driven motion, tone control, and feedback blur. By combining these with displacement and soft blending, we created a living, breathing distortion that feels organic, almost like it's reacting to the space itself. This workflow shows how procedural design can turn a normal clip into something emotional and cinematic. Every step, from threshold to ramp, from feedback to composite, adds a layer of texture and depth that makes the motion feel alive. Thanks for following along with this tutorial. I hope it helps you understand how to control distortion in a creative way and inspires you to build your own effects. See you in the next one.